Hi everybody. Welcome back. Today I have a um, Diamond Art Club unboxing for you guys. Now I got these on, um, I think it was, it wasn't, I think it was during the Black Friday, right? I mean, I got it, I ordered this on November 29th, and I know that they had, it was basically buy one, get one half price, right? So I got these two paintings here, and my, uh, on the website, both of these were $54.99, but I got, um, I had a discount for $27.49, so I paid, uh, with with tax, I paid a total of $88.96 for these. Um, and I, I got these to, when I'm done with, you know, winter stuff, I'm thinking about spring, I'm thinking about um, what I would possibly like to hang up in my kitchen so these are um, I don't think that either one of these were they one might have been a new design I don't honestly I don't know <laughs> um, but so um, and and I think yeah both of these are round diamonds and I will show you the pictures real quick so this one here is Ladybug on Sunflower. And it is a 20 by 29 uh, inch or 50 by 73, 50.7 by 73.7 centimeters. And then the second one that I got is this one, the Red Eared Slider. And this is a 20 by 25 inch, 50.7 centimeter by 63.9 centimeter. All right. So which one should I open first? Um, I kind of want to see the ladybug first. So let me put this one aside and we'll get into this. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I have uh, um, some. I'm I'm real excited because of of this, but I'm also real excited because I have. I'm taking two days off of work next week, <laughs> so I get a longer Christmas than normal. So I'm I'm really excited about that. Um, uh, I took off two days which are um, two days on my husband's normal days off. And um, he took, he actually was supposed to work on Christmas Day, Christmas night, but he actually was able to get that off this year. So, yeah, I'm super excited, super, super excited. And then our actual uh, work holiday is the 26th because Christmas falls on a... Um, Sunday this year so I'm super excited I'm gonna do lots of gaming with my husband and I'm gonna do lots of diamond painting <laughs> so um, our toolkit has um, and you you all probably know this most of you know what diamond art clubs about but I'll re read it real quick you get an applicator a comfort grip a uh, Mm, very, oh, excuse me, very much. Um, Heart-shaped wax container, a craft tray, tray stopper, multi-placer times two, um, cover minder, washi tape, and Ziploc baggies. So this is a newer kit. Um, and we can open this up. Now I'll just probably open this one up. I, I most likely won't open up the other one right away because I do know that the washies and the cover minders are random. Um, so, but I won't, you know, make you guys sit through that. So you've got your baggies here. Um, very pretty washi. 
Very, very pretty washi. Um, the cover minder, I'm going to have to re-glue the magnet on it because as you can see here, we've got two magnets and nothing on the back of it. But it is this really cute um, ice cream cone. Or nope, it's a unicorn. <laughs> It's like an ice cream cone when you do it that way and then you got it's a unicorn but look at that doesn't it look like an ice cream cone oh my goodness gracious <laughs> you got your nice heart-shaped wax here which is nice I like this little I like the frosted container I think that's very cute um, looks like you've got a what is this a four placer or placer. Sorry, I've got all this stuff in my hands. Your um, your pen with your squishy matching colors. A very nice green. I actually recycle these, but this color I really like, so I might wind up keeping that. <laughs> um, you also have a what is this? A seven placer, and then you've got your tray that is sparkly as you can see i'm holding everything in my hand so i'm kind of awkward right now and then you have your um little little cover there so that your drills don't fall out when you're shaking them yep <clears throat> so let me put all of this stuff back in here ah, and see i dropped the magnets anyway <laughs> I was trying not to drop them and I dropped them anyway. So let's get this all back in here. If I can get the pen in there, we'll be good. Oh, I gotta put it at an angle. I think, because, yep. You know what? Set it aside, Stacey. <laughs> All right, we've got our little sticker here, which is really pretty. Some people put it on the edge of the box. Some people put it in their journal. Um, I don't know what I'll do with mine. I'm not really keeping a journal that much. Um, I keep I keep sheets of paper that have all, all of my. Uh, all of the legends on them so in case I need to replace a drill on something but I don't really take notes on anything you know what I mean I don't really uh don't really keep a journal maybe I will but now that I have the YouTube channel do I really need to because <laughs> everything's recorded now <laughs> all right and you guys, if you haven't bought a Diamond Art Club painting before, they are poured glue, and their canvas is very soft. It's one of um, one of the most soft canvases out there, and that is good and bad. Um, and to be quite honest with you, because even though they scallop these edges and they surge the edges or whatever you want to call it, um, this still does fray. Um, another thing too is that because it is so soft on this, on the back side, um, when you are framing it or putting it in your portfolio book or whatever it is that you're doing with it, um, if you use double-sided tape on it, um, it it does come right off. Um, it will stick, but if you have to reposition or something like that, um, you're better off just getting a brand new piece of tape because it doesn't stick to it very well. But if you're if you're you know putting it into a portfolio book, um, nine times out of ten you're just going to have it out or you're just going to have it there. And it's not really, you're not really going to be moving it a lot. So it should hold up pretty well. Here's your sticker sheet here. So you get a nice bigger picture here. And then you've got 
individual labels here so that you can label up all your jars. And this one here has 40 colors and it looks like um, we'll have three ABs because Diamond Art Club, anything under 150 is an AB. So it looks like I've got three ABs there. Yeah, 40 colors. That's pretty nice. And then you also get your thank you card here and everywhere in this has um, dis discount codes, 10% off your next purchase. If you download their app, it's got directions, kits, um, what your kit includes. It's got links to videos um, so that you can check, you know, find the best way to diamond paint your project. So let's get into this. Let's show this. Now I'm not going to be able to show this whole thing on the camera at one time because I just don't have a lot of space. Um, I can move it up a little bit and try and show you um, more of it. So let me do that. And you'll probably see my legs, but you'll be okay. <laughs> So, yeah, you still can't see all of it. Maybe if I turn it sideways, you can see all of it. Nope. Well, kind of. You can kind of see all of it. You can kind of see all of it. If I bring it all the way up here. Yeah. That's probably the best I can do right now with the arm, my camera arm. I hope you can still hear me. I talk pretty loud, so I don't think you'll have a problem hearing me. But <clears throat> if you turn your head sideways, <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is really, really vibrant. Oh, it's super pretty. I really, really like this. All the ladybugs on it. This is really cute. I like, um, can you see this one up here? Yeah, I can see all my, my little uh, screen there. This one here is flying, so that, uh, that really appeals to me. This one looks like it just landed because you can really see its back, so its, its wings aren't completely on its back. And um, yeah, this is super pretty. I really, really like this. Let me um, let me move some stuff out of the way. I've got way too much stuff on my desk. Way, way too much stuff on my desk. Hold on, I'm getting in the way of the camera. But okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Yep. So, um, also, any of you guys know Diamond Art Club? Know that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, like I am going based off of what other people have said. So I'm hoping that I'm not spreading false information, but from what I understand, Diamond Art Club hand renders their, um, their paintings. So what that means is that typically they take the image and a person will go through all of the um, the artwork and kind of graph out where all of the drills are going to go to um, give you the best look for um, the size that you're getting, right? So um, imagine that you've got like a paint by numbers, right? But you can't mix any colors. So you're left with just a certain amount of colors and just a certain amount of space. So with that, you kind of have to make judgment calls on, well, what can I combine? How can I outline it? What can, you know, what can I do to make the picture uh, really stand out, but also be true to what the artist 
had desired it to look like, right? And that's that's what how I see um, hand rendering. And in my opinion, my head's all in there. In my opinion, I think that um, being able to hand render something, um, a diamond painting, is just as artistic as um, doing the drawing yourself. Even though you are basically taking someone else's image, you're you're modifying it. You're you're um, you know with that with that artist's permission, but you're modifying it to allow it to um, allow people to get engrossed in it and allow people to feel like they are designing um, a new piece of artwork for themselves, right? And that's why I love, one of the reasons why I love diamond painting so much, because even though it's someone else's artwork, the, the amount of time and energy that you put into it, sorry, there's air bubbles all in this. So, <laughs> but the amount of time and energy that you put into it um, really allows you to kind of become connected with the artist. You know, you kind of start feeling like you helped put it together. So I look at it like, well, you have the artist that did the actual drawing. Then you have the person that took the time to hand render this out and carefully pick and place all of the grid in order to maximize the artist's vision. So you have that and then you bring it to life. When you buy it, you bring it home, you bring it to life and you make this your own. And that's why some people will add different, um, will change change up the, the drills and add different sparkles or whatever they might do um, to really, really make it unique to them. Um, I haven't done that quite yet. There's one that I'm working on um, that I was thinking about it, but I didn't have a color that I wanted to use, so I didn't. I will eventually get into that. Um, you know, as I get better at diamond painting and stuff, I probably will mix and match some some of the uh, drills and and really transform things into my own. But that's why that's one of the reasons why I, I like hand rendering because you've got a um, typically a beautiful um, representation of the original artwork. So when you look at the picture, let me grab this. When you look at the picture and you see all that depth, and I'm covering up all my light, so bear with me here. But if you, um, I'm trying to arrange it a little bit here. You know what? Let me do this. That's going to be better because then I can keep you in the light. Um, but when you look at the original picture, you know, uh, you're, you're seeing like blurred lines in here. You're seeing, you know, definition in the begin, in the middle of the sunflower. There's different nuances that are actually on the painting itself when, and then when you see it on the canvas here, it's more simplified, right? Because it's hand rendered and they're trying to maximize this little space to show off exactly what the artist was dreaming, right? So um, I just think it's amazing. I really do. I think it's, I think it's absolutely lovely that you can be part of something as gorgeous as this. So let me grab it up and we can look at some of the 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 grid pattern here I'm going to zoom you in as well so let's take one of these ladybugs the flying one that I really like you can see how beautiful the uh, the rendering is right how beautiful the grid the the drill field gosh I can't think of words how beautiful the drill field is. It's very clear. So when you're looking at this, 
Yeah, Diamond Art Club uses a lot of symbols. I'm okay with it. I don't really get them mixed up too much. Here, let me zoom out just a tad. Um, so when you're looking at that, you've got a nice gradient of color. Like I said, you've got 40 colors on that, and I've got a lot of glare, so I'm sorry. Got 40 colors on that. You do have some symbols, numbers, letters, and yeah, it's really, really pretty. Don't you agree? I really love the colors. I think this is my, my, the walls in my kitchen are actually quite, um, they're like a green color. And I think that this, as well as the other one, um, that I'm going to show you look, will look phenomenal on it. So let me zoom you in just a tad here. Well, it seems like more than a tad. Let's look at these drills. It got, I, I really like the bags that they have. They're really actually quite thick. Um, if you ever save any of these bags and reuse them, um, Diamond Art Club has really thick bags. Um, they're really nice and sturdy. And uh, I don't fear um, I don't fear losing the, anything in this. I don't fear it breaking. It's, it's really a sturdy bag. <sighs> and like I said, 40 colors on this. So I'm just going to read them out as we're looking at them. So you got 772. I'll try to keep it in the light for you. 772. 642, 963, 3325. Oops, got this upside down for me. Here's one of our beautiful ABs, the 141. Can you guys see that? See that sparkle in there? I don't know if you can with the way my light is. You might be able to over here with me moving that in the light. It's really pretty though. If I bring it down, maybe if I bring it down and I zoom in a little bit further. There you go. Now you can see it. <laughs> I'm learning this camera, guys. I really am. <laughs> so two bags of the 141. We've got 740, 3866, 3747, Two bags of that, 310, 743, 644, 3818. And I'm kind of looking up while I'm doing this so the drills were all falling on the floor. <laughs> um, we've got 742 and we've got two bags of that. Two bags is 742, and I haven't zoomed in so much that I have to keep an eye on where I have them. Two bags of 741. We have um, 905, 906, 890. That is a really, really pretty green. 907, Oops, wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one there. Put uh, yeah, that one aside. Here's the last strip here. So. Okay. We've got 33, or 334. 165, which... Is it's a really pretty like greenish orange, uh, greenish yellow. I don't know why I said orange. Probably because orange is the next color. 947, 107. You can see that that is an AB. It's really pretty. 433, 966, 434, 817. 
129, that's another AB. It's really pretty. Like, it's like a pale yellow, like a muted yellow in, in person. It's not as bright as it is on my camera. Um, 3799, 744, 317, and 318. So yeah, that's, uh, that's super, super pretty, huh? I really like those. I like those a lot. I'm actually really excited about this one. Now, I don't know if... I don't think my husband would let me um, put both of these up at one time. And I say let me. He wouldn't argue with it, honestly. But um, I try to be respectful that, you know, he's a man. And he might not... That is way too wide. He may not want... Um, to have the whole house diamond painted. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not going to fit. Why is it that I don't know how to wrap these up? Let's do threes. I know it's a lot of noise for you guys. Thank you for being patient. I just, I don't know how to wrap up drills, apparently. And then we've got these four here. And with Diamond Art Club, they do um, have the the name of the diamond painting on the drill bag. On the drill bag there. So that you can store your drills somewhere else. So I'm going to zoom you back out. We could take one more really pretty look sideways of this painting. And I'm going to set this aside for now. And I will open up the other one. I'm just going to set it aside real, real thick like this. Okay. So let me open this one. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm doing um, a lot of the winter stuff right now, which I'm loving. Um, but I love changing for the seasons, you know. Um, I, I've said this in another video, but I'll say it again. I prefer, I like to decorate for seasons rather than specifically for on a holiday and so with that I really enjoy I'm I'm enjoying I should say sharing with you seasonal diamond paintings rather than just um, holiday diamond paintings Ugh, tool kit and like I said I'm not going to go through this again but looking at the back of it um, it is the newer kit. It's got all the same stuff in it, but I'm just going to set it aside for now. And then we've got our, let me zoom you in just a tad. We've got our sticker here. And if my voice sounds weird, it's because I am, um, my glasses are trifocals. So when I have to, with the camera up so high, when I have to look up and look into the the uh, viewer, I have um, I have to tilt my head kind of way back because I have to use the bottom part of my glasses in order for it to not be blurry. I'm way better with uh, distance seeing, but something small like that, I have a lot of problems seeing. So. Um, so yeah, so I tilt my head really, really far backwards and sometimes it makes my voice sound a little funny. So, <laughs> all right. 
Yeah, these, these canvases are so soft, sometimes it's hard to get them to start rolling because um, they just crumble under your hands, <laughs> almost. You know what I mean? They just, like, you could squeeze them and just, like, because it they feel almost, if you've never had one, they feel almost like a dish towel. That's how soft they are. So, you know, if you ever grab a dish towel and you go to... Um, pick so pick it up it it just crumbles it just like balls up in your hand and that's kind of what these these um canvases are like they just kind of crumble so when you go to roll them it's hard to start them okay so let me set this aside we have our again we have our thank you notes here and then we've got our picture with our labels here and there's actually 50 colors in this one and it looks like there's four ABs on this one and you know what I, I never said the artist's name on these so let me go back the artist's name for um, the artist's name for the ladybugs on Sunflower is Greg uh, Gordano or Gio, Giordano, I want to say Gordano, I want to say that I is silent, but I could be wrong with that, so if, if I am, I'm very sorry, uh, Greg. <laughs> and then this one, the red-eared slider, is by Linda Howard Bit Bittner. So let me set these aside, drills over on the side, and let's look at this bad boy. This one is a little bit smaller in height, but it is the same width. So I hope that you can see it. I hope so. I mean, you're, you're cutting off a little bit on the edge, but um, you should be able to see at least the whole picture. This is really pretty. I like this one. Again, I like the hand rendering because You've got a nice, bold um, look to your tortoise there, or your turtle, whichever you want to call it. I don't recall. I know there's a difference, but, and if any of you can remember what the difference between a tortoise, a tortoise and a turtle is, please let me know in the comments, because right now, I don't know, don't remember what the difference is, but I pretty sure there is a difference between them so if you want to share that with me that would be wonderful <laughs> but I like because of the hand rendering I like the outline on it I love the outline on the butterfly I think the butterfly looks magnificent um, that's one thing that I will say um, about diamond paint, hand rendered diamond paintings is that you get when there's an, a little animal when it's a nature one um, you tend to get a really good rendering because of it being hand rendered you get a real nice distinctive you know what that is you know um, sometimes computer generated images you don't really get that you kind of um, you know that kind of goes by the wayside unless you've got you know something that has like 80 colors or something like that and it's super super big but generally you lose a little bit of it so there it is I think it looks really pretty I'm loving the flowers and um, I love plants and flowers, but I do not have a green thumb. Let me tell you, I feel like I kill every plant that comes near me. Um, I tried to plant some mint. Didn't even bloom. But then again, they could have been, you know, like dead seeds or something. But so if you know what kind of flowers these are, again, tell me in the comments because they're super, super pretty. I love this dragonfly here, and there's a little tiny ladybug on this one, and that's why I was like, oh, these would look great in my kitchen, both with the green and yellow. I think they'd look great on my wall. 
So I'm gonna zoom you in so I could show you this drill field in the light, hopefully. So that ladybug looks really nice. Let's see that butterfly. Looks really pretty. Let's look at that turtle face. And then, where's the dragonfly? There's the dragonfly. That looks really pretty. Yeah. All right. Let's get into these drills. How about it, huh? I think I'm zoomed in a little too close. Let me back up just a little bit. Again, 50 colors on this. start with this one so we've got 745 3818 703 700 702 813 987 3810 841. Here's our first AB 119. It's very pretty. Very pretty purple. That's probably in those flowers on the bottom. Let's see. We've got 327, 824, 3750, 550. 33 or 336 498 3774 718 470 210 413 738 775 141 AB 3776 3765, 900, 133, that's another AB, and that is just a tiny, tiny bit, so I'm not sure where that's going to go, maybe on the top of the turtle's head, 3607, 606, Thirty-seven ninety, eight ninety-eight, thirty-eight nineteen, thirty-eight fifty-five, five ninety-eight, thirty-seven eighty-one, seven eighty-three, eight ninety, seven twenty-eight, seven eighty, one twenty-nine. This is our another AB. 647, 3371, 701, 907, 208, 842, 3837, 744, and 300. Very, very pretty colors. Can anybody say let the Spring begin. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm excited to work on these because these are beautiful colors. Both diamond paintings are absolutely dripping with beautiful colors. And again, I know I've got my camera really close. Again, Trying to fold up these diamonds is not my forte, but that's all right.
think that's it. Thank you guys for being patient on the crinkling. I know sometimes that's um, not good to hear. But so here's this one again. It is the Red Eared Slider and it's by Linda Howard Bittner. And absolutely, it is so, so pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna sit this kind of this way like that and then let me grab the other one back I feel like everything is falling on me right now I'm trying to keep everything straight and I feel like everything is sliding <laughs> all right so here is this one again so you can see that and this is ladybug on sunflower uh, by Greg what's his name Greg Gorgian Gordian Gordian Giordano I'm gonna get it one of these days one of these days if you know how to spell it or how to say it try to try to spell it out in letters for me on how to say his last name because I feel bad butchering it. But there's that one. Beautiful sunflowers. Well, daisies probably, huh? Daisies and ladybugs. Okay. So we can put this one this way. I have them hanging off my table. But at least you can kind of see. You can see a little bit of both of them, right? You can see some gorgeous ladybugs right here. You can see the turtle and the butterfly and the dragonfly over here. I really like both of these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have a lot of fun diamond painting them. I don't know which one I'll do first. I don't know. I kind of feel like doing this one first because I really like the ladybugs. But that turtle is really gorgeous in that butterfly, too. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If you have any recommendations, if you, either one of you, if any of you out there have gotten these or have done them, um, let me know. Um, or if you think, you know, you can give me a recommendation whether or not you want to see. Maybe I could do a whip and chat if you, if you want. We can uh, do... You guys can help me pick which one to do. Um, granted, I'm not going to do it anytime soon. Um, this month, I'm focusing on uh, mainly winter stuff and Christmas stuff. So, but maybe in um, maybe January, February, I might start on one of these because I know they're going to take me some time to do. So maybe January, I'll probably start on one of these so if you have any suggestions any recommendations let me know and if you like this video please um, consider subscribing and uh, hit the like button also please leave a comment um, not that I'm begging <laughs> I might be just a little bit but I really love it um, to be quite honest with you guys I don't really have friends that much you know I have I have some acquaintances and um, I have one friend that lives in a different state so I don't get to see him very often. Um, so uh, I want to experience and, and gain some new friends um, that have the same kind of interests as me. So uh, I really do enjoy your comments and I will answer. <laughs> I will reply. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.